In our company, there is a say, never too big, never too expensive, and never too heavy. When Fawaz Gurozi, the founder of Swiss jeweler Degre Zogano, acquired a whopping 404 carat rough diamond for a rumored 16 to 18 million, even he was intimidated. I started to have a complex how to make that beautiful stone a real beautiful piece of jewelry. First, he carved the rock into the largest flawless diamond on the planet, weighing in at a hefty 163 41 carats. It took me a couple of months, came out with around 50 different designs. And when he couldn't settle on just one design, he decided on two, a necklace dripping in bling. We have something like 120 carats of emerald. That instantly transforms into a bracelet. And here's what happened when Fawaz put his one-of-a-kind showstopper up for auction. The largest deep flawless diamond ever offered for sale, 20 million francs. In just three minutes, it smashes a world record. 22 million, I have 23 million, 24 million, 500,000, 27 million for you, sir, 29 million, 500,000, sold to you, thank you very much. Auction fees jacked up the price to a staggering 33.7 million bucks, making this the costliest necklace ever sold. And the priciest bracelet too. Never too expensive, indeed. Beer is my life, but I am a trained professional, so I know how to drink. I'm Jim Cook, the brewer and founder of Sam Adams. Today we're here to experience the lunatic fringe of brewing. Sam Adams' Utopias. It's kind of the Starship Enterprise of beer. It takes beer where no beer has been before. Cheers. Let's go into the brew house. The Utopias bottle is actually a replica of our brew kettle. We sell every single bottle that we make for about $200 a bottle. People ask me, how can you charge $200 for a bottle of beer? My answer is simple. You make a beer that's worth $200 a bottle. We age it in these barrels, which are bourbon barrels that have been emptied and then filled with Sam Adams Utopias. So I blew the carbon dioxide out of the barrel, and now you can get all the beautiful, sort of tawny, uh, aromatic, grape-like esters that are coming from this barrel. This one needs a few more years. One of the things I wanted to do is bring to beer the same dignity and respect and nobility that's been accorded to wine. I brought the fancy opener, but now I need the real opener. Ah, you know, I don't have a private jet, but I got my own bottle opener. You know, pound it like a regular beer. You just sip it, maybe a teaspoon or two. You just get it on your palate and you let the aromatics fill your head. Unfortunately, for many of you out there, you may live in one of the 15 states where Sam Adams' Utopias is illegal. It's illegal because of the high alcohol in some states, the unique brewing process, and as a brewer, I'm okay with that. To me, there's only one thing better than great, wonderful beer. It's great, wonderful beer that's illegal. Cheers.